Can you fix that camera for me? Can I use those headphones? That was cool. Wait, go. go. That's cool right there. Do both sides work? Only one side. Can I use the other one? I don't think. <laughs> Are you teasing me, Kyle? No. <laughs> I don't think these work. Yeah, they do. Oh. <laughs> you got the cord to plug in my laptop? Huh? I got to plug the cord into my laptop. You know how to do that. Yeah, I just have to find it. Now I know. I can't hear I can't hear my music, Kyle. Oh, you gotta turn it on. Which one? Is it six? I can't, I can't do it, Kyle. Uncle Kyle. Mic check one two. Well, until Kyle come back, I'ma talk about how this day been going. And then the, the days are getting better. It's getting warmer. We we need the people to 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 be warm in order for it to be warm. And uh, let's talk about God for a second. I got I got beats I want to play, but let's talk about God for a second. Well, today Jesus is listening, and he's going about himself, and he has his pet dog with him, and there he has a lovely dog, his dog go way back with him, and it been with him forever, so they have a good bond. Jesus knows what the, what the dog knows, and the dog knows what Jesus knows. By the nose. Cal, when you done, can you help me? Yeah. Ah, I got a cramp in my foot. Ah. Ah. Oh, man. Oh, man. That hurt it. I just got a bad cramp in my foot and it hurt it like hell. I can't hear the music. I got this one here. Oh, let me see. I still can't hear it. You have the volume up on your computer? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, are you plugged into the headphones? Yeah. You're making volume? No. Wait, make it. No. Does it make sound? Yeah. Wait, do it so it's really good. Okay. Still can't hear nothing. Oh, wrong one, sorry. Uh, almost cried, Kyle. Nice of an idea. Is it 
it outside? We'll find out. Alright. One second here, my Uncle Cal is fixing things. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Okay, so are you listening, you listeners, people of the world? Guess who I am? I'm king of the world. I earned my crown. You have to earn yours too because it's still special people out there. They everywhere. You got Rick Ross out there. <laughs> oh, you got Jesus out there. <laughs> and you got the people out there. And they go <laughs> as well. Because we all are rock stars. Now, I'm going I'm to play this beat. And this beat is called Michael Myers. Don't be scared because it's pretty spooky. But it's going to put a tune in your head. To shake your booty. So let me find this beat right quick. And I'll be on the way. Let's see. Okay, this beat is called Michael Myers. <laughs> Not that beat, this beat. <laughs>
second that beat was called michael myers now i'm going to switch it up to a softer beat this is called good times hello
Summer, can you hear me out there? Summer, can you hear me? Oh, you can hear me. Well, shout outs to Summer for just arriving. One of my bestest friends. Hey, Kyle. Summer's out there. Remember that girl I was telling you about? My, remember the loved one I was telling you about? The one that loves me? Yeah. Well, let's go to some beats I made a while ago. Uh, can you hear me? <laughs> hey, Summer. What you doing? Nothing, just walking in. You want to be on my show? Okay. Take that mic right there. Yeah. Speak to it one. Okay, I can hear you. Testing. So, Summer, what did you do today? Mm, not much, really. Just went over by my auntie house, chilled over there. We talked about some stuff. That's all. Are you? Um, I'll work on it. I check one too. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. So you was doing what now? Just went over by my auntie's house, you know, talked to her. But yesterday was a quite an interesting day. We had went out, took care of some business, and on our way back home, we found this little puppy pit. R really? Yes. It was by itself? Yeah, on 12th and Center, and that's a very busy street. She was running up to cars, trying to get into the cars. I mean, she's still a puppy, no, yeah. no older than three to four months, and she's so skinny. Yeah? Oh, she's skinny. And she needs to eat, huh? Yeah. So did you keep her? Yeah, she's at the house. Good. You know, she's fine. Now, God she, got something in storage for you. You know, she don't really get into much. She just likes to go to the bathroom in the house. <laughs> Well, I guess it, it's probably. Well, I mean, somebody probably lost their dog, or they, or that was just a dog who just been out there, like. You for know, a while. but then again, you know, she is a puppy, and that's what they do. Yeah. You know, that's understandable. If she is a puppy. You can still train her out of it. Yeah. I just don't like it, but I didn't ha name her Angel. You know, she's such a sweetheart. You named her Angel. Yeah, I named oh, her Angel. <laughs> so that's your baby now. Yes, that's my baby. Oh, uh, Pitbull is. Did you come with your mom? Yeah, she's over there next door. Oh, what about your friend? Who, my man? Yeah. I don't know where he is. I think he's still working. He needs to hurry up and call me. I heard your friend was a fighter. Oh. I used to hang out with your friend. You know, you want to know what his name was? Who? Oh. Peanut. <laughs> Hold on, I know a couple of peanuts. <laughs> and I don't think you know. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> you know what we used to do? We used to like run in people's backyards and like hop fences and keep going and going to the next backyard, hop fences, hop that fence, hop that fence. That's all the, the peanuts I know. That's only if they're running from the police. Me and Soldier Boy and Peanut <laughs> were doing some things. I, you know what else we did? This is really bad. And please, so I'm sorry that I did this, but we used to run in the alleys and knock the garbage cans over. Yeah. Keep going, knock the other garbage cans. <laughs> we was bad. We was bad, but we had fun. You you know? know, y'all was, was kids, doing. though. Y'all was kids. That's what kids do nowadays. Yeah, y'all know, you know what we was doing. What? You can hear yourself outside? No, I can hear it. I see a camera. Oh, yeah, it's looking at me. You want me to turn to you? Ah, oh, you talking about off the computer? Yeah. Uh, nah, it, shit, I don't care. All right. I look a mess. You don't look a mess. Yeah. 
Yes, I do. I look a hot mess. The mic's in the way. Hey, how y'all doing? Beautiful summer. <laughs> you know, yeah. But, you know, I just moved over here to the east side, seen a couple of kids. You know, every time I see some kids, I'm always trying to give them some words of encouragement. Mm -hmm. You know, just try to get the kids off the streets, you so know. So they can grow. He is letting them grow. And it's like why they're in the Not party. being, you know, like gangs, you know, throwing up all that extra gang, extra stuff. I mean, you know, kids, they need to learn how... Instead of being out here on the streets and their parents not even teaching them well, because some of these parents out here, y'all really need help. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I'll give them some encouragement. You know, tell them, you know, ask them what they want to be in life. So I hear, you know, police officer, football player, basketball player. Go, you have to go to school for all that. Mm -hmm. You know, start. If you want to be a basketball player, football player, you know, start now. Because I know, you know, the schools out here have, you know, basketball teams, football teams, you know, that stuff. Start now. And then when you, when you go to college, because you actually have to go, be on a the team there. And, yeah. you know, that's, you never know, you, you know. Might, you might be big and be a superstar. Exactly. You could be playing for the next, you could be the next quarterback for the Green Bay Packers. You would never know. Because it's not hard. You it's just, not, you, you, you can do to, anything if you yeah. really put your mind to it. That's all. Mm -hmm. Put your mind to it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's what I always be telling my kids. I got eight guy kids. Hey, babies. Uh, you know, I always tell them, stay out of trouble, go to school, do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. I got one son, you know, he, he is pretty bad, but you know, he actually is getting better. Mama, I had got this and this and this. I was like, well, if you if th this was the situation or this is what's going on, this is what you need to do, you know? Instead of listening to what all them other kids are saying, running their mouths, talking about all this other stuff, you know what? They ain't doing nothing but hating, baby. That's it. <laughs> They're haters. <laughs> yeah. Because you might have more girls than them. Or you got better shoes than them. Or better clothes. Or whatever. Kids are, everybody's going to hate. Yeah, because in high school, um, <laughs> I dressed it so cool and so good. And I was sitting with the kids that was, like, is not that popular. Because it's not about how cool you are, it's about who you are inside. Yeah. And they used to hate on me. The, the, the black kids used to hate on me. And they used to read me and, and, and talk about me. And that, people don't read no more. People don't. Some bull crap, yes they do. Because you know what, that's how, that's how the young kids is nowadays. Yeah. If you don't talk about somebody, or if you ain't bad enough, then, you just a punk. You weak. You ain't nothing. But you know what? Well, all y'all talking about on the G and all this other stuff all in the streets? <laughs> Where you think them nerds gonna be owning their own business? Doing what they gotta do. Working, got your jobs. Married with kids. Where you gonna be? Stuck out in the streets. Not doing nothing with your life. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, that stuff's not cool at all. And again, people, her name is Summer, and it's a blessing for her to be on my radio show today because she's making my day better, and she's giving me knowledge, and knowledge is power. You know, I always come introduce people. Matter of fact, I'm going to get back to you. I actually have to have a phone call, which is my boyfriend. That's my baby. All right. I will be back on the show in, give me five minutes. Okay. You'll Go be ahead. back? L let's hear some of those hot beats you got, yeah. all right? Drop it. All right. Let's see. Soundcloud.com. Slash sick dash beats. What is he? Dash three.
soundcloud.com slash sick dash beats dash three. Shout out to the B-Heads. All my B-Heads out there. We love good music. And we all have an ear for music. And we know what good music sounds like. And it sounds like this. It sounds like that. In the sky like a diamond, in the sky like a diamond, in the sky like a diamond, you're beautiful like diamonds in the sky. All of you hearts got something coming for you, and it's glory to God, because without him, you wouldn't have a meal to eat. So we hustle, hustle, and Jesus are with you. Everywhere you go, did you know, did you know, he's hunting you down because he's a grudge that won't go away. Okay, I'm going to play my brother, Millie Block Vegas, Young Vegas. This song is called Looking For Her Too because the future was like, I'm looking for it. He was looking for her. So my brother made a mix, and now he's looking for her too. So here we go. It's loading, 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 loading. There we go. Yeah. I'm looking for her too. I'm looking for her. I'm looking for her. Uh, I was looking for her too. Her she's from out of state and she just looking for school. Said she was so confused and losing feelings for a dude. I say sometimes in life we always end up falling for a fool. Although my time is money, I kicked it with a for a few. I lit that sour D's and took her higher for a few. We spending so much time, her boyfriend looking for a clue. And she know I'm not rushing the fuck, just waiting for a cue. She wants me to be the one when I'm just boyfriend number two. She does some shit for him, but does anything for a boo. And she knows that I'll do almost anything for her too. She let me take her home and make a lot for the truth. That's when I told her, I've been looking forward to diving in that pussy. Was to me, it's more a pool. She said she had a problem. I searched my boxes for a tool. I give her body that fixes. I told her I was sure to do it. And she said, Turn on the lights. She looking for a shoe. Said she don't want to leave a night. Looking for a two. He ain't wrong. She was my girl. Then I be looking for a two. Yep, I be calling the phone. And I be looking for a two. I'm looking I be looking for two, two. I'm looking for, I'm looking for. I'm loading, 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 loading. I'm looking for two. Turn on the lights. Yep, I said turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights.
That was called Looking For Her Too by my brother, Millie Block Vegas, Young Vegas. Because he got his name from being a hustler. He was on the streets gambling and he was winning. And so he named himself Young Vegas. But he never been a Vegas because if he do, he's gonna win. So, if you ever heard that song, make him say, uh, uh, na 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 na, na 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 na. This is his freestyle over that song. And by the way, Master P is my grandpa. You good? Yeah, I'm good. You ready to listen to this freestyle? Let's go. Hit it. It's loading. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know what's inside my brain, but all I keep hearing is this voice that says continue grinding, man. Even my girl say I am bored because I don't play any kinds of games. Rapper step on my terrain, I'll have this record by the flame. I don't care what you're trying to prove, and I don't care what you're trying to gain. You cannot survive the rain like fire cannot survive the rain. I'm a die-hard nigga, Bruce Willis, John McClain. Bang, looking at my vision through a telescope. Millie Block Savior, cook me up, I'm helico. For me to be appointed, you could not have found a better hope. No, really, I can dig it. What the fuck you think this shovel for? Biddy, call your weed man. For now, I'll take a seven, yo. Matter of fact, what kind he got? Oh, yeah, that boy, that's seven, bro. Master purpose sour. Okay, what shall I settle for? Just mix me up a zip and three quarters, nigga. That's seven quotes. R.I.P. Sleep. I know the place you're in is better, bro. Say what up to my uncle Mike for me in the cuddy bumping ghetto, though. Talking about, uh, Working in my studio was my nine to five. So I'm smart enough to be in the spot with the nine at nine. AM to nine. PM with that live supply. But I let that to some niggas I know that will ride or die. No Living Studios, what's up? Who this is? Who this is? Look at this rapping for tell you. Who is this? Oh, this P. That was called Na Na Na. Okay, okay. I'm gonna play this song, and this is called They Don't Know. This song is about Milwaukee and representing Milwaukee because it's telling you what they don't know because they don't know us. So this is called They Don't Know. They don't know nothing about you. Everywhere I go, people, they ask me, where you come from? I tell them, I tell them it's not where I come from, it's what I've come from. They don't know about it. What you know about having money, then having to go without? They don't really know about it. They don't know about it. They don't really know about it. About trying to raise new kids in the ghetto when it's so damn hood. They don't really know about it. What they know about taking chances, risking your freedom just so the fam good. They don't really know about it. Have you ever been a felon? Been caught with a weapon? Was about to hurt someone, it was only protection. What they know about racism and the cops that's killing? They don't really know about it. What they know about trying to make an honest living? They don't know about it. What they know about trying to work for minimum wage and can't even pay the bills? They don't really know about it. What they know about searching already, knowing it ain't enough to make a meal? They don't really know about it. Have you ever lost a homie or someone in your family over something petty? Man, they don't understand me. What they know about yellow tape and clothes trap? They don't really know about it. What they know about homicides and clothes caskets? They don't know about it. What you know about having money than having to go without? They don't really know about it. What you know about seeing something you want then telling your people you're ready to go about? They don't really know about it.
about losing everything important to you just like that. They don't really know about it. Well, they know about standing on your feet like a man, getting it right back. They don't really know about it. Have you ever made a change? More so for the better. Made up your mind to go get yourself together. What they know about staying strong and motivated. They don't really know What they know about grinding till you know you made it. They don't really know about it. What they know about saying I'm a winner. I'm determined, so I can't stop. They don't really know about it. What they know about people anticipating you fall, but you ain't dropped. They don't really know about uh, it. Have you ever made a choice? Made a choice to succeed? And kept it in your heart when ain't nobody believed? What they know about saying I will never quit? They don't really know I guess there's something it. people never get. They don't, they don't know about it. What you know about having money then having to go without? They don't really know about it. What you know about seeing something you want then telling your people you're ready to go about it? They don't really know about it. Singing voice to put on that hot track. You made it even fire. I know, I know. And now, I try, do you, I try. I, um, I have a question. Do you know who Sean Nelson is? Sean Nelson? No. Well, this song is called Fresh Like Sean Nelson. And uh, Sean Nelson is, is <coughs> I don't know who he is, but my brother called it Fresh Like Sean Nelson. So here goes the song. As it's loading. Uh, shout out to Ralph Lauren for this polo. <laughs> shout out to Starbucks for this French vanilla frappuccino too. You did. Uh, I think I'm fresh. fresh. Sean Nelson. Uh, 94 Jordans. Uh, Money in my pocket and I've been balling for a minute like the 69 Celtics. My time cost and I don't know too many time sales. I write like someone you've never heard of, John Elson. Niggas say I'm whack, where well, here's a fact, LeBron self. Fresh and Kobe can't shoot and Chris Paul should be benched. Feel still on that bullshit with Derrick Rose. Man, these niggas be talking about nothing. Hmm, exactly. Milly Black Vegas, I am not your average athlete. What are those niggas dumb? Fine, rapping makes me happy. For you guys, said it's over with. Done, sad, last week. And all I need is a stupid ass beat like this. Yeah. Okay. And a stupid okay. ass freak like this. I, I, be, I, I, I be fucking these bitches, but I don't fuck with the niggas. I be fucking these bitches, but I don't fuck with the niggas. I be fucking these bitches, but I don't fuck with the niggas. I be fucking these bitches, but I don't fuck with the niggas. I be fucking these bitches, but I don't fuck with the niggas. I be fucking these bitches, but I don't fuck with the niggas. I be fucking these bitches, but I don't fuck with the niggas. I be fucking these bitches, but I don't fuck with the niggas. Wait a minute. I ain't done with the flow yet. Let me get that mop. When I finish, this bitch will glow wet. Oh, yes, I'm the rapper they will have to come assassinate. Coming the fast on the ass in the rapper's race. As I'm coming down and finishing your last place, they're gonna be like your fucking trophy. You can have this place. I don't want to hit your weed. Assuming that I don't get enough, though that's not what it's about. Assuming you get offended, I don't give a fuck. I have my girl inside the suite. For me, she is a sitting duck. As big as Thanksgiving's turkey, guess who's getting stuck? Yeah, you are looking. Looking at the next threat, boy, I kick it like a reflex test, knock it off my nerves, so feeling like the next best, slow motion with my BFF, light up the burn, yo, yo, light up the burn, yo, uh, light up the burn, yo, what we burn, ho, stupid bad. 
I beat I your stupid I, I, ass. I be fucking these bitches, but I don't fuck with you niggas. I be fucking these bitches, but I don't fuck with you niggas. I be fucking these bitches, but I don't fuck with you niggas. I be fucking these bitches, but I don't fuck with you niggas. Not me, it's just me and your bitch. Not me, it's just me and your bitch. Not who you fucking with. Fuck with me. Huh? Just me and your bitch. I be fucking these bitches, but I don't fuck with you niggas. out of time so I'm gonna play one of my beats thank you young Vegas my brother for making that a moment of, of, of life making another scene of another day and this beat was made for me and Rihanna and this beat is called Dexter Dexter yeah Five minutes left, so I have to play I'm a beat. This, this beat is called Real Nigga. <laughs> real nigga, straight Cause, up with cause Everybody inside is a real nigga. So this beat is called. Oh, real baby, nigga. not everybody, not everybody. Not so everybody. Most, most of them, because we winning. Here we go. Not even most half, baby, half. Drop beat. Right. I 
That was the Beat Junkie Show, and I will do another one next time. Shout out to All God. All right, we out. Mary. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.